narcissists worry about every day, even making them frustrated. Welcome to the latest installment of Unveiling the Narcissist. It's a pleasure to have you all here. Today, we delve into the intricate web of a narcissist's anxieties, shedding light on the underlying reasons behind their constant fretting. Remember, fear is the driving force behind a narcissist's actions, often leaving them entrenched in paranoia and apprehension. Their minds are consumed by a plethora of worries, albeit some entirely unfounded, yet they perceive them as genuine due to their deep-seated paranoia. So, let's delve into eight pressing concerns that plague the covert narcissist's mind, shaping their behaviours and interactions with others. Worrying is a natural human experience, but for narcissists, it stems from a place of profound insecurity, fueling their perpetual need to safeguard their fragile sense of self. While our focus today is on the covert narcissist, it's important to note that many of these concerns resonate across the spectrum of narcissistic personalities. The fear of abandonment looms large in the covert narcissist's psyche. Eight concerns that keep narcissists awake at night. 1. Fear of abandonment. Narcissists dread the thought of being left alone. They harbor deep-seated insecurities about people eventually walking away from them. To combat this fear, they strive to exert control over others' thoughts, emotions, and financial dependence. By ensuring others remain reliant on them, narcissists feel secure in their relationships, wielding the power to accept or reject as they see fit. Simple actions like delayed responses to messages or tardiness can trigger intense anxiety in narcissists reinforcing their fear of abandonment. 2. Loss of respect. The covert narcissist is particularly fixated on maintaining respect from others. They view respect as an entitlement rather than something to be earned. Their meticulously crafted facade demands unwavering admiration, and any perceived slight or change in demeanor from others is met with defensiveness or silence. Even subtle shifts in tone or body language can ignite fears of disrespect in the mind of a narcissist, prompting them to guard their fragile ego with fervor. These concerns encapsulate the intricate web of anxieties that narcissists grapple with daily, shaping their behaviors and interactions in their relentless pursuit of validation and control. Thirdly, Narcissists are constantly plagued by the fear of their flaws or weaknesses being exposed to others. This fear drives them to avoid solo projects, preferring to collaborate with others instead. By doing so, they can deflect blame onto their collaborators if anything goes awry, thus evading responsibility. While narcissists struggle with working alone, they relish in receiving praise when things go well. However, this also opens them up to criticism if their shortcomings are uncovered. Narcissists detest being corrected, as it bruises their fragile egos. Consequently, they meticulously curate their public image, striving to present themselves flawlessly at all times to avoid any hint of imperfection. Additionally, narcissists harbor a deep-seated fear of blending in with the crowd and being perceived as ordinary. They loathe the idea of being equated with others, striving instead to maintain an air of superiority. This compels them to invest significant time and effort into cultivating their achievements and outward appearance. Their aim is not merely to boast about their accomplishments, but to assert their dominance and remain in the limelight. Despite their relentless pursuit of success, the fear of fading into obscurity continues to haunt them, as nothing they achieve ever seems sufficient. Furthermore, narcissists grapple with the constant dread of not being the focal point of attention. They fear being overshadowed by others, whether it be in the workplace, social circles, or even within their own families. This underlying sense of competition drives narcissists 
to go to great lengths to monopolize attention and ensure that the spotlight remains squarely on them. Sixthly, narcissists harbor a fear of being manipulated, which is ironic considering their propensity to exploit others. Yet, this fear stems from their own manipulative tendencies, leading them to believe that others may seek to use them in return. Consequently, they approach interactions with extreme caution and suspicion, always on the lookout for any signs of deceit or manipulation. In an attempt to preemptively protect themselves, narcissists may resort to manipulating others before they can be manipulated themselves. The seventh concern plaguing narcissists is the dread of being ridiculed or mocked. Despite their outward arrogance, narcissists are deeply insecure and dread the thought of being judged or belittled by others. While they may readily dish out criticism to others, they are unable to handle even the slightest hint of mockery directed towards them. Narcissists may resort to self-deprecation as a means to preemptively deflect criticism and garner praise, but ultimately, they cannot bear the thought of becoming the subject of ridicule. Any perceived slight or mockery is met with swift and severe retaliation, as narcissists strive to protect their fragile egos at all costs. Lastly, narcissists fret over their perceived inability to maintain control over their surroundings. They believe that manipulation is the key to maintaining dominance and seek to exert control over every aspect of their environment. By wielding power over others, narcissists aim to dictate their actions, emotions and thoughts, thus ensuring their own security and stability. For narcissists, being in control alleviates their fears of abandonment, humiliation and disrespect. However, their insatiable desire for control means that they are constantly on the lookout for new opportunities to assert dominance and secure their position of power. In wrapping up, in essence, the narcissist perpetually teeters on the brink of anxiety due to their inherent suspicion and discontentment. Their primary concern revolves around safeguarding their carefully crafted image, seemingly consumed by their own self-absorption. The well-being of others holds little significance to narcissists, overshadowed by their preoccupation with irrational fears of potential harm or embarrassment inflicted by others. That concludes our discussion for today. If you have encountered any other whimsical fears attributed to narcissists, feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. These are the things that will drive narcissists crazy and will be very easy to destroy. Narcissists are one of the most dangerous types of people to deal with because they are manipulative and only see other people as tools to help them reach their own goals, which they will only brag about and never actually achieve. They only see us as stepping stones. Narcissists see other people as nothing more than tools they can use to reach their own goals and objectives. Anyone who doesn't see you as a whole person with all of your thoughts and goals will never earn your respect. Narcissists need to be in charge all the time, and being close to someone they can't control is one of the most upsetting and unstable things for them. In addition, the narcissist would not be able to stand any of this person's other traits, making them a big problem for them. This person makes their life miserable and can drive narcissists crazy. It means they could lose, and narcissists hate losing. It's frustrating for them when they can't get what they want or get the person they want. Narcissists are hurt when they lose something, like a game, a job, or even a love relationship. It hits them hard and reminds them that they can't control everything or everyone. This is something that can happen no matter what. Somebody with the mindset of someone who can drive a narcissist completely crazy will have a lot of the traits that narcissists hate about other people. Still, I'd like to thank everyone who watched this movie before we even talk about that. I'd also like to welcome anyone who is new to this show and thank them for coming. 
The movie today will show you some personality traits that narcissists really don't like. Don't worry if you don't have all of them. If you can keep your cool, the narcissist will quickly lose interest in you if you have at least two of them. 1. People who don't cross their lines The first person who can drive the narcissist crazy is someone who knows their limits and sticks to them. To put it another way, you should never think less of them. They don't want to do what other people tell them to do. Narcissists who try to push their will on these people will be strongly turned down. People who are set in their ways and won't give in are probably the ones that narcissists hate the most. Narcissists will get angry if someone tries to stop them from taking over other people's time or life. They'll go crazy over this. 2. Not scared. If someone meets the second requirement, they must not be afraid of the narcissist in any way. So, they don't have much trouble addressing or correcting the narcissist when they need to. To stop it, they would also tell them when they are lying or not being honest. People who are narcissists have a hard time getting along with others because they can't relax when they're with someone like this. 3. Someone who doesn't find the narcissist's antics interesting. The third sign is someone who is not impressed by the narcissist. This means they have not bought into the narcissist's false view of themselves. It takes them a long time to notice or praise the narcissist's good work. Before getting too close, people like them want to be sure that the person they're meeting is who they say they are. They're not in a hurry to meet new people or make new friends. Because of this, believing someone takes a lot more than a nice smile and a perfect appearance. 4. Someone who makes narcissists feel little. Lastly, someone who makes the ego think he or she is not important. Based on the other things I've talked about, it's clear that this person doesn't trust the narcissist and would try to keep the narcissist out of the situation as much as possible. This means that no one will ask them to come to their homes and they also won't accept narcissists' invitations. No matter how much time they have, this person doesn't want to spend with the narcissist. Because of this, they are more likely to ignore or grave rock the narcissist when they act in a strange way. 5. Someone who has done better in life than the ego. 5. Someone who is successful or has something the narcissist doesn't have. For example, one person might be married while the narcissist is single. It's also possible that the narcissist doesn't have a car or a house or the other person does. The narcissist might not be able to go on trips, but the other person might. Narcissists don't want other people to be able to have or do something that they can't, even if it's just a little thing. Narcissists are jealous people who don't like it when other people do better than them. Number 6. Someone with a free spirit Someone is free-spirited if they enjoy life and do the things they love without caring what other people think. That's how we get to the character flaw. They don't care what other people think or how they look to other people. Another person who is the exact opposite of narcissism makes the narcissist sick because they can't stand being around them because they wish they were living their life the way that person is. This is called narcissistic envy. Nasty people don't like it when other people are always happy and free spirits are usually carefree and happy most of the time. People who are narcissists find it very annoying when other people show real happiness and joy. The thought of what these other people have makes the narcissist crazy because they can never have it. They don't like it when other people talk more than they do because it makes them feel less important. In any case, People who aren't afraid to say they're wrong are much more important. It makes narcissists happy to talk about how great they are and show off their achievements. A few of the things they are known for are complaining, rumors, and telling interesting stories. There are many lies that narcissists tell, and most of them are complete lies. Nasty people are afraid of people who talk a lot and tell the truth, 
because those people can get people's attention and focus on themselves because of how interesting they are. Really, everything comes down to one word, authentic. It's the thread that ties together all the traits I just talked about. Someone with authentic character is honest in every part of their life. They stick to a clear way of doing business. Everything you want is what you get when you work with them. Narcissists are dishonest and believe that everyone else is the same. The narcissist doesn't want anything good for you. The narcissist thinks that there should be no room in the world for real people. It must be true that all of them are lying. When these people act in these ways, the narcissist will get angry, irritated and uncomfortable, and they will have to hide behind their shell. My list of things to do is now over. The other good thing about this person is that they know more about how narcissists work. It is best for the narcissist to end a violent relationship. They know they can't trick this person, and what's worse, they know this person is likely to figure out who they really are. To stay away from people who fit this description, narcissists usually make a plan to leave or do everything they can to stay away from them. What these people have going for them is the truth, and narcissists hate the truth so much. This kind of person is honest with everyone they meet, as well as with themselves. The narcissist would stay away from them because they aren't afraid to tell or hear the truth. Narcissists are afraid of these people because they are everything that a narcissist is not. Narcissists do bad things, but people who have these traits or act in these ways can shine a light on them and stop them. If they want to control someone, all they can do is plant doubt and suspicion in the hopes that some of them will grow or that someone else will feel the same way about them. To get rid of this guy, they need to get him to work with them. When narcissists can't change or control someone, they hate them so much that they want to kill them. Especially for narcissists, people with a lot of the traits I've listed here today are their worst fear. For the reason that they are always honest, set clear limits, and aren't pleased by the narcissist. When the narcissist comes near, they don't show any fear. They are being honest. They are having a great time. There is a good sense of awe and reverence in them and in life. They can spot toxic people and stay away from them, even though this may not be the most important feature. Nasty people can't change things like this. That's all we have to do for today. Feel free to leave any questions or thoughts in the box below. Thanks a lot for paying attention. When the narcissist doesn't believe that this is what you would do to him. Hello everyone. Appreciate you tuning in to the channel today. Let's delve into a thought-provoking topic. Ever experience that moment when you catch a narcissist off guard with something they never saw coming? If you're enjoying the discussion, remember to hit the like button subscribe and share it with anyone who might benefit. Now let's jump right in. There's a multitude of things a narcissist never anticipated from you, but in this video we'll zero in on the one that likely left them completely surprised. But before we unravel that, let's rewind a bit. Reflect on your time with a narcissist, the dynamics of that relationship, and how it left a lasting impact on you. Ready to unveil the unexpected. Let's get started. Initially, when you entered that relationship with the individual who turned out to be a toxic narcissist, the concept of narcissism probably wasn't on your radar. They certainly didn't teach you about it in school. You likely perceived them as someone going through a perpetual rough patch, facing various challenges. Determined to make things work, you invested everything your time, money, energy, love, empathy, social standing, and more. Yet, it felt like paddling upstream in a canoe, while the narcissist did everything to sink it. Why? Because they had another canoe ready to launch right behind yours, ready to jump onto the next source of supply once they ensured your canoe sank. 
The narcissistic abuse cycle revolves around one person pouring everything into the relationship while the other shamelessly takes, takes, and takes until there's nothing left. Let's face it, the narcissist operates on a completely different wavelength. They don't engage in rational thinking, self-reflection, or personal growth like you do. Accountability is not in their vocabulary. Their mission is to latch on to individuals, suck them dry, crumple them up like a discarded piece of paper, and swiftly move on to the next unsuspecting victim. Here's a heads up. The fresh supply they gravitate towards is someone offering a distinct lifestyle compared to what you provided. Yet, bear in mind, you were once that new supply, and the narcissist swiftly transitioned from a previous relationship straight into your arms. After extracting what they desired from you, they'd seamlessly shift to another person, often someone from their past, perpetuating the cycle. You might find this narrative a tad dramatic, but it encapsulates the harsh reality of dealing with a narcissist. They're ensnared in their distorted mindset, incapable of reasoned discourse or authenticity. Their sole objective is to assert superiority over you. Living with them feels like navigating a roller coaster. Behind the front door, you're uncertain whether you'll encounter Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde, and they skillfully manipulate you into perceiving this erratic behavior as normal. But what if you begin questioning things, perhaps turning to Google with searches like spouse won't talk to me or verbal abuse? In that quest, you stumble upon a revelation, a beacon of understanding. As you delve deeper, you're not just unraveling the layers of your own transformation, but uncovering the true essence of the narcissist. They never anticipated that you would identify them as a narcissist. Underestimating your intelligence, they assumed you'd never connect the dots or embark on investigative research. Ironically, they made the same miscalculation when they first encountered you, assessing, dissecting what made you tick, and evaluating your offerings. After their analysis, they concluded, yes, this person will suffice. Little did they fathom that you would unearth the reality about them. Throughout the days you endured in that relationship, they were aware of the gradual erosion of your well-being and resources. This manipulative and abusive pattern, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake, had become their modus operandi. Now envisage this. A day comes when you get rock bottom. It could be illness, financial depletion, job loss, or a medical procedure. Suddenly, the narcissist executes their familiar move. They discard you and seamlessly transition to the next source of fuel that has been lurking in the shadows since your acquaintance. Now, behold the twist the narcissist never anticipated, you reclaiming yourself. This juncture is pivotal, so etch it into your memory. The narcissist was well aware of the relentless abuse they subjected you to, a daily, weekly, or even yearly onslaught spanning decades. They recognized that a breaking point loomed. Either you break free from the relationship, prompting their discard, or remain ensnared in a zombie-like state, the narcissistic fog. If you've experienced it, you understand. It's not living. It's merely existing, drained and battered. The narcissist never foresaw your healing journey, comprehension of narcissism, commitment to radical acceptance, and the revelation that you are the abundant, beautiful, radiant light, not them. They manipulated you into believing you were dependent on them through a trauma bond, orchestrating an emotional roller coaster. Your encounters with a narcissist, whether through text, email, in person, or a phone call, always left you off balance, uncertain of the persona you would confront. Here's the punchline. The narcissist never believed you would reconstruct yourself, recover, grasp the intricacies of narcissism, practice radical acceptance, and recognize your inherent worth. 
While ensnared in their fog, you reported every move, tipped around, convinced you needed them. This was all part of their devaluation strategy. Once bored, the thrill of pursuit extinguished. You transformed into a replaceable toy on a shelf. They vanished, seeking new sources of supply, be it in romantic or other realms. Now, what the narcissist underestimated is your resilience, strength and capacity for learning and growth. They never anticipated your liberation from the toxic relationship. Your commitment to educating yourself about narcissism, seeking therapy and prioritizing your well-being. You defied their expectations, refused to let gaslighting distort your reality and identified the toxicity for what it was. Instead of succumbing to despair, you made the conscious decision to reclaim your life, establish boundaries and prioritize self-care. You reconstructed your self-esteem, rediscovered your intrinsic worth and emerged with newfound strength and wisdom. Ultimately, you evolved into a survivor, transcending the role of a mere victim. Your ability to break free and flourish is a testament to your inner strength. Always bear in mind that by resisting entanglement in the narcissist's web of control and manipulation, you've disrupted their paradynamic. In doing so, you've metamorphosed into an empowered individual, no longer a pawn in their destructive schemes. Pause for a moment to recognize your achievements and revel in your triumphs. Each stride you've taken toward healing marks a departure from the sway of the narcissist. You haven't just endured. You've emerged even more robust and resilient than before. For those still navigating the healing journey, extend patience to yourself. Recovery unfolds gradually, and every modest triumph holds significance. Don't shy away from establishing a support network, whether it involves friends, family, or a therapist. You're not isolated, and assistance is within reach. To sum up, the narcissist never foresaw your reclaiming of life, throwing a wrench into their entire strategy. Your voyage toward healing and flourishing stands as a testament to your fortitude and resilience. Continue advancing on the road to recovery, acknowledging that you merit a life free from toxicity, brimming with authentic joy. And bear in mind, for a more in-depth comprehension of these dynamics, delve into our complimentary book and contemplate a personalised one-on-one consultation suited to your requirements. Discover the links in the description below. Your journey is significant and support awaits you.